generally do some type of cleanse every year. So this year I'm doing um, a parasite cleanse. So probably all of us have some type of small parasites in us, and um, especially dogs, cats, kids um, that you're around. Uh, so. So when I do cleanses, I like to focus on a specific organ and get it healthy. So I'm focusing on my intestines and uh, trying to get them as healthy as possible. It's time for some colon cleansing so that I don't look like that. <laughs> so I'm about to get a colonic and no, you're not going to watch. <laughs> but I do this as part of my uh, colon cleansing and when I'm done, my stomach is so tight and flat. Um, it's hard not to get addicted to them, but you can't get addicted to them because you should only do them so often. I'm also doing some fish oil. This is a bubblegum flavored fish oil, and then this is my Parasite Actual Cleanse. It tastes really disgusting, but the results are worth it. So when I'm doing any type of cleanse, I also stay relatively low sugar, so you're seeing I'm doing meat, vegetables, and more vegetables for dinner. Hey, I'm on set getting ready to shoot a project. <laughs> so today's shoot, I'm back at my Hourglass Regret studio and now we are filming my home training program. Um, it's going to take a while to put together. Uh, Train with Liza Book took me about two years to create, um, which is my gym training program of actually how I train. So now this is my home training program and... Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. We're getting really, really close to it being there. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to keep it also fun. Lots of different outfits, hairstyles, braids, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but there will be a lot of Pilates involved in my home training program because I'm a Pilates fiend. I love it so much. Um, I think it's the best, I won't say only way, but the best way um, to get a small, tight, you know, strong waist. A lot of people say, how do I keep my lower body kind of thick, but my abs really strong? And it's definitely the Pilates. Um, I do not use waist trainers. I don't believe in waist trainers unless you're suffering from diastasis post-pregnancy. Um, I think Pilates is the way to go. So these are some of the moves I created. This is from my Sexy Pilates repertoire, which is a repertoire that I created myself from mixing Pilates, dance, and gymnastics. Some of these moves, like this one here, this is actually a real Pilates move, um, which I fell on. <laughs> but um, but a lot of the moves that I'm going to be doing in the program are actually moves that I created all by myself. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Um, I think the one closer so it's easier for like people to see. Okay, go. So some of the behind the scenes that people don't generally see is that when I'm shooting this stuff, it's generally an eight hour day of like 40 to 50 exercises. Um, and each exercise, you know, to even catch a 15 to 30 seconds, I'm probably filming the same exercise for like two to four minutes non-stop. So definitely got my work cut out for me, but I have fun with it. So that was an awesome and productive day. Now it's time to get a start chocolate. I got my chocolate. I'm about to eat this whole bar. Okay, I'm just getting to the studio. Head in. There we go. Welcome to Hourglass. This is my little home. I'm meeting up with a couple of my Hourglass uh, franchisees. We like to meet up and do workouts every so often, so we're going to do a leg day today. So Ruby and Liz are here, and we're doing train with Liz. Both Ruby's going to do day nine upper body, and me and Liz are going to do day four um, lower body. So to start off the workout, we have um, booty bands on and we're doing some glute activation and we're doing uh, clamshells a few sets per side to start off. I'm really good at filming because like the star of this whole thing has been the water and the coffee. So they were like right in front of the camera the whole time. Essential. Interesting. We're working out, huh? Mm -hmm. Water. Agua e cafe. I know. Who's that clown? Huh? <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. Oh, are you kind of teaching me? Making associations. No, making associations for you. I know Agua Cafe. Stop. It's Cafe. 
Okay, here we go. The workout has begun. This is how we're doing our warm up. Um, we're doing the workout that I showed on the board, which was burpee belly flaps and jump squats, as you're seeing here. And then I think it's, um, oh yeah, MMA push ups. And then next you'll see some uh, single leg stretch Pilates. And then I think a switch lunge. And we do 30 seconds per exercise and just two times through and it's just kind of a nice way to warm up that isn't something like running on the treadmill so we're working our core we're working our legs getting a good pump in and um, and then we're ready for the actual workout and it only takes a few minutes <laughs> Okay, warm up and activation done. Liz is sitting up her step ups. Nice and high, right Liz? Gotta hit that under bum. The under bum. For the 25 rapper over and over again, the hand Heading over to the Blue Band Machine. Liz is going to be a um, no light at all. Liz is going to the hand machine. Ruby's doing <laughs> Chase Coven. <laughs> so she's doing the elastic band pull ups right now. Come with me. It's time for hamstring curl. be a little bit more isolated and I'm not going as heavy so I'm doing like 60 pounds so 60 is like a middle weight um, heavy for me is like 85 to 110 depending on how I feel that day um, but today I'm gonna do a mid which is 60 so oh hi We're getting ready for beautiful hamstrings part two. I'm getting ready for a hundred, a hundred, and it says no drop in weight. Under hand rolls. I don't know if that's about. She'll survive. She'll survive. Those glued hands is 45. I'm done. I don't need to do anything else. I'm fried completely. We're done. No, we have one more round. Let's go. So the next super set. She has to do a hundred reps of those. Not happy girl. Um, me and Liz are 
guys, let's get already started. We have to do the abduct machine, the leg extension machine, and a sumo deadlift Tabata. Three times through, including the sumo deadlift, three times through. I know, I must have been like on a lot of coffee the day that I wrote that workout, because both of these workouts, because they're just cruel. Anyways, let's go. Let's go. Woo! So I'm on the leg, uh, hip abductor, working the side of my bum, and Liz is doing Liz is doing the leg extension, and both of us are thick chicks, so we don't do a lot of leg extension, so our quads are not that strong compared to our booty. They're show quads. Yeah, they're show quads. Oh my god, that's such a good term. Because they'll grow. And when you're a thick girl, your quads grow really easily. Yeah. So we do things like lunges and deadlifts that kind of also hit the quads, but just don't isolate them because we're not like, yay, grow quads. So do you see her weight? Can I embarrass her? <laughs> She's using maybe one plate. <laughs> one plate with them thick ass thighs. <laughs> love you. Don't you, don't you love when I have the camera out? Bye. I know I was making fun of Liz, but I'm also going to make plates. <laughs> So, uh, I'll actually start, I'm going to start with 45 pounds, and as I get tired, I'm going to drop down to 30 pounds, because I'm doing 30 reps, and I'm really focusing on the contraction, but I don't want to grow my quads. I have no interest whatsoever in thicker quads, because I like to look as slender as possible when I'm wearing jeans and stuff like that. I just want my booty to pop, and I want my hamstrings to pop. I don't want my waist to look small. I think like thick thighs and thick quads look really amazing on some women. Um, so I'm not against thick thighs. I just don't like them on me. So we're doing a kettlebell deadlift Tabata here. It is eight rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're both doing 80 pounds. And we're doing a set of this at the end of each set until completion. Oh, that was the last one? Benito! That was the last one. Jazz hands. Or, or laying down. Or laying down. Or jazz hands. Okay, lay, laying down, laying down. Then over jazz hands. <laughs> so we just finished. Day four. Chamber pads with day four. And day four is called sexy hamstrings. And my hamstrings feel very sexy right now. Okay, we're now at P&L. Hello. And I'm getting the my usual. Do you know what my usual is? Of course. Okay, what is it? There's a Philly kale wrap. No cheese and no mayo. Yes! So it's, it's a burger, but instead of getting the bun, you get kale. And then we take off the extras, like the, um, the cheese and mayo. It still has mushrooms and jalapenos on it. Yes, sauteed onions. Ooh, and sauteed onions, and the, the beef itself is a, a pretty clean beef, yes? 100% pure Canadian beef, no additives, none of that feature. No hormones, all that kind of good stuff, so... I'm about to make my morning shake. This is some of the stuff that's going into it. A lot of green vegetables, and they all go in like this. Yeah. So the shake that I was just making is my energy shake from my train with eyes about plan. And this is it here. It's really delicious. So I put the excess of the shake into a glass bottle so that I can carry it with me. What are you doing with this thing on my leg? Okay, so this is a Graston uh, type tool. Um, it's called Instrument Assisted Soft Tissue. And it's Essentially, this tool is helping to release any fascial adhesions and uh, stripping out the muscle in the ways that my hands can't get into. This hurts, by the way. <laughs> 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 and then she digs her fingers in. <laughs> Ouch. Um. Here we go again. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> That's so much. <laughs> So my glutes are tight, so tell them what you're doing. It's um, called active release therapy or myofascial release therapy. So I forgot to mention that that was actually my chiropractic appointment that I was just doing with Dr. Lauren. And it's supposed to be 17 degrees today, no winter jacket. It's a beautiful day in Kensington Market. This is like a 
I don't know. It's a really fun place of Toronto. Kind of hipster. So many greens. Which one? I think I'm going to do this one. So many types of pears. This one's a little bit different. This one's really pretty. This is today's groceries. Got a good mix of just antioxidant stuff, some greens, some proteins. Colorful snack, I'm having some beet soup and green juice. Just doing some work and watching Money and Violence. This show though, so good. Sometimes when I'm hungry, I'll just go to bed. But I've got a few hours of updating my hourglass workout. Licensee manual. So being a normal human, I get hungry late at night. And um, instead of ruining my diet, I'm gonna have some Forever Nuts tea. I use um, loose leaf tea, and the Forever Nuts smells like apple pie. So it's almost like apple pie potpourri. Mm -hmm. 